I'm out on the Buffalo Bills. I'm totally out on them. I was taking my notes over the last couple days. I was like, look, the Bills are just, they're not it. And I know as a Saints fan, I can't say anything. And But the Saints are what they are. I'm not in denial about my team. The Buffalo Bills lose to the Patriots 29-24. to And I'm just, I'm absolutely out on the Patriots. Or not on the Patriots, heck, on the Buffalo Bills after this one. 29-25, to excuse me. I knew that score didn't feel correct for some reason. They lose 29 29- to 25 on the road. They're four and three. Now the Patriots are a two and five football team. And and we saw the Buffalo Bills get away with it versus the Giants sleepwalking. And Bill Belichick literally took notice of that. It was not going to let it happen. And Buffalo should have known walking into this game on the road in New England against still Bill Belichick, who now just got his 300th NFL win. Congratulations to him. I know he's still chasing Shula's record. We know that Bill Belichick is going to take away your best, you know, your best thing, your strength. Or if there is a weakness, he's going to exploit it. He jumped on the same thing in the first half, just like the Giants jumped on the same thing in the first half. And give credit to the Bills. They tried to do everything they could to rally back and win this football game. And they did the same against the Giants. But they should have lost to the Giants because there was a no call. And now they lost to the Patriots, and rightfully so. And everybody saw it on television. Everybody saw it on a game that the Bills were on a good audience for broadcasted, and now the people can finally see why they have to be out on the Buffalo Bills. They're, they're just not Super Bowl contenders. And at this point, I don't know if they're even going to sneak into the playoffs with how the AFC is starting to shape out. And you look, the Bills' first play from scrimmage, Josh Allen interception, trusting his arm, just kind of set the tone. Stephon Diggs had four yards until his third quarter catch at the beginning of the third quarter. It was second and 12. You got to love the sliding catch to Sp- Stephon Diggs, excuse me, also had, uh, you know, he slide, popped up, and then Got a, got, got a touchdown in the fourth quarter, so you, you love to see that from Stephon Diggs, an elite player and receiver in this game. And Josh Allen had a nice scramble out left on third and five to James Cook was nice. This really felt like the James Cook arrival game. We know, or at least I knew James Cook coming out of Georgia. Going over to Buffalo, I was like, damn, that's going to be a really good fit. I really see that being a good fit for James Cook, and now he's getting his proper usage season over season, and he came in in this game and played well. He had a lot of key touches and a lot of key plays, and that one there from Josh Allen is a prime example. Now, Josh did take a bad sack on third down with about two and a half minutes to go in the first half, just really that the pocket collapse on him. I thought that was another key moment there where the Patriots just <clears throat> kind of took the energy out of Buffalo and really just electrified the stadium at that point. Um, and again, you know, good to see J- James Cook break out in this one, but I will give Buffalo credit for getting the turnover and rallying with Josh Allen and company to score and take the lead in this football game. But let's take a look at the Patriots and Mac Jones. I mean, Mac Jones was playing like his 2021 self in this game. He turned back the clock to the 10 wins, seven losses, getting blasted by the Buffalo Bills in the playoffs. Mac Jones took that a little personal. We know he's in the same division as the Buffalo Bills, so he gets to play them, but Bill and Mac finally got to be on the on the good end of the stick, especially here against against Buffalo. I mean, he had some nice throws to Faro Brown, especially the one in the fourth quarter from Mac Jones. That really impressed me. It was the Patriots' best game of the season. It was Mac Jones' best game of the season, and he really looked like rookie Mac Jones. That did win those ten games and gets into the playoffs. You got Douglas Kendrick Bourne getting touches at very key moments in this game. You got the big throw to Hunter Henry, major throw to Mike Gesicki for the game winner. No turnovers engineering a fourth quarter 75 yard game winning touchdown drive against the Buffalo Bills. Would you have taken that from Mac Jones? Would have you believed anybody if they told you that Mac was actually going to do that with the New England Patriots? <clears throat> you had four players for the Patriots that had uh 50, four players reach receive 50 receiving yards, nine players caught a pass and multiple players from each position group were targeted by Mac Jones. We saw Mac Jones really falling in love with Kendrick Bourne. That was his top target in this game, and he seemed to keep doing it over and over again. And you got to love guys like Hunter Henry, Mike Gesicki, Devontae Parker. Yes, they only combined for 40 yards on five catches, but their catches really counted. And, of course, Gesicki's game-winning touchdown. Again, this game, and really life, is all about what do you remember recently? What are people going to remember recently? And people are going to remember Mac Jones driving down the field at home 75 yards, fourth quarter game winning touchdown against this Buffalo Bills team who I'm out on. I think they're frauds, but they've still been able to win big and, and have the defense do what they've done against other teams. Um, You know, and, and excuse me, what they've done against other teams defensively over 
over the season. So the Bills earned five of these victories by double digits, including the 2021 playoff win dating back to the start of the 2021 season. They were six and one, so it was good for the Patriots to come out of this one with a W. And you just got to be impressed with Mac Jones this week. His highest passing yard total since week one he didn't throw an interception for the second time this year and he just made throw after throw stepped up in the pocket when he needs to needed to and i'm not sit over here and you know hype up a a two and five he finally just played his best game of the year and you know maybe his best game of his career but you can't take away from the fact that this is a big win for them and the patriots played a very clean game on all sides of the football they ran the ball well at the beginning of this game controlled the time of possession they even made that turnover <clears throat> and they were just able to really dictate the game over the first two quarters and after committing seven turnovers during the three game losing streak mac jones did not commit a single turnover in this game it was very efficient i mentioned that earlier just a just just a little while back uh, second half completed as comfortable Demario Douglas and Kendrick Bourne. They just couldn't get a beat on Mac Jones to really knock him off his rocker. And again, when you let quarterbacks get comfortable in this league, that's exactly what's going to happen. The bills offense out to a very slow start three points through the first two quarters. And just like last week, they only get the ball moving in the fourth quarter. And Bill Belichick was not going to have that. Bill Belichick was not going to let a team that he knew was sleepwalking time after time against team after team against his defense at home come in and do that to him. And he stopped it. And he made the Bills look the way that they did in this game. He had penalties that kept putting the Bills in the wrong direction. In the red zone, they had penalties. They had third and long situations that they failed to convert time and time again. Josh Allen was actually under decent pressure in this game. And knowing that the Patriots were doing that without a Matt Judon was absolutely great. I mean, you have to give Bill credit. This is where coaching really does start to matter. You might only be a two and five football team, but when you can eke out wins like this, it shows you that it's any given Sunday, no matter what happens in the league. Okay, hold on. The Bills didn't have an answer for New England's quick passing game and allowed what was statistically one of the worst offenses in the league throughout the first six weeks to drive 75 yards down the field in 90 seconds to win the football game. That is what the Buffalo Bills just allowed the 2-5 and five New England Patriots to do to them. And we're supposed to believe in this team to win the Super Bowl? We're supposed to believe in this team to go all the way? I like Josh Allen. I like a lot of teams in the NFL. It doesn't mean I'm pulling for them all like I got these black and gold guys right here behind me. But I want to see Josh Allen do it. I want to see Buffalo do it. I want to see Josh Allen go to a Super Bowl, win an AFC championship game. But you can't sleepwalk, especially against a team like the New England Patriots.